from a young age, it was just a happy place for me. I've always just had like this level of zenness, or it's like always been therapeutic for me to get into the water. It's those days that get tough for a lot of other swimmers. Getting out of bed early in the morning just becomes a little bit tougher. Those are the days that I hop out of bed and I'm excited to get to do what I get to do. Morning, NBC. <laughs> we got a nice little day of training for you guys. Welcome to West Lafayette, Indiana. As you can tell by my extremely bare walls, I'm an interior decorator in my spare time. <laughs> I do this because I love to do it. You know, I got a, a family here at Purdue that, you know, welcome me. I just consider myself very fortunate. So the grind is all part of that. Let's go to work. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that's, that's part of having legs that don't work. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, big time. It's a unique position that I'm in here at Purdue. I'm so thankful that I basically made a cold call to the assistant coach and wanted to be closer to my family here in Indiana. Purdue opened its doors to me. All right, let's go work. Evan's an instant catalyst to everything we're doing. Whether he's coaching on deck, whether he's in the water, he's really a coach in the water. His enthusiasm is contagious to everybody. As someone that sees coaching in my future, Giving feedback to a swimmer helps me grow and makes my swimming better. Here we go, good legs, good walls. You know, he's always tried to be very helpful for me, even though, you know, things are difficult for him too. But he's always been a sweet child, and now he's a sweet man, and he takes care of his mama. Good to see you, babe. Love you. I just feel I'm more ready now to bring home something from Tokyo than I've ever been in my Paralympic career up to now. And I feel like it's just a combination of where I'm training, how close I am to home and my support system. And I get more out of my training sessions because I love what I do. I feel confident and excited at what's going to happen here in, in Tokyo. You know, Evan just has always had that can-do attitude and, you know, nobody's going to tell him he can't do. He just does. <laughs> And that's because we always let him try. 